Hey everybody and welcome to Boston, Massachusetts. I started in Cambridge though. Today is June 27th, 2022. It is about 80 degrees out. It is a gorgeous, almost summer afternoon. Just a few more days now before the season changes. And right now, I'm just taking a walk over the Longfellow Bridge. You can see the red line train that just went by. I'm sure we'll see one or two more by the time we get over to the other side. Basically, the bridge ends right in Cambridge, or almost ends. It's like right across the way here. That's where the line is. You can see the boats are still out right now. It's about 7.45 or so, maybe 7.50. It's getting pretty close to sunset, 8.24 p.m. today. The skyline is looking gorgeous. There's the Prue over there and the Hancock. You can see the, we're getting the sunset light on the buildings here. There's Memorial Drive down below. Oh, there goes a duck boat. See the sailboats on the water. Took me a little while to get going here because the Parking along the Charles is really getting harder now since the weather's getting nicer. Usually it's just a shore fire free spot to park to get into Boston. Oh, there's the, you can see the water right on the, the reflection was right on that sailboat with the water off the building there. Or the sunbeam off the building there. I was actually thinking about taking a ride on one of the duck boats and recording that. That would be fun to put on the channel. Very scenic from up here. You actually get a great view when the red line comes up and over the bridge when you're riding on the T. Here goes one now. Get a little bit of sunlight on the bridge here. You can see Beacon Hill in the distance there. You can see all that in the dome. Uh, someone really tilting in the wind there. You can see the Esplanade from up here too. There's Mass General is on the other side, Mass General Hospital. You can see. I don't know, I lifted the camera up, but you, the Zakem Bridge is on the other side. Uh, getting a really bright reflection here. <laughs> the boat's in it. Yeah, you can see the esplanade is in this direction. You can see the dome over there. Or the half shell, hat shell? I think it's a hat shell. Really beautiful view of the skyline coming up over this crest.
it's even brighter now. <laughs> you can tell the sun is setting when you when you get these reflections off the buildings here. It's a mass iron ear infirmary directly ahead from here. Across on the other side. Looking back at the Esplanade, see all the boats docked over there, and the boathouse down there. There's another train in this direction. Nice to see all the trees green here. You can see your guests get great views from this bridge. It's a better view of this. What I might do is I could cross the bridge right over to the Esplanade right at the end of it. It'll be, that would be fun to do, lengthen out this video a little bit. You can see there's a bridge that goes across the street. You can see the signs are up already for the Boston Pops Fireworks Spectacular. July 4th is uh, not too far off. It gets really festive in Boston around uh, the fireworks. That's an old train, man. Like from the 80s. See the sun looking through here. Should be curious. I don't know when these ones were built, but they were they've been around for decades. Charles MGHT station, red line, as you can tell by all the red line trains that have passed us. Some stairs down this little park down here. This is Charles Circle here. It's 
So we'll just go right back up this uh, walkway, I guess. If I continued straight, I'd go to Government Center on Cambridge Street. Or if I continued down into the right, it would be uh, the Boston Public Garden and Boston Common on Charles Street, but we're going to go this way now. Sun is setting even more. Probably be down in uh, about 10 minutes or so, or close to. That was like the reflections you get off the uh, Hancock Tower. I think it's the 200 Clarendon Street Tower now. That was can get good photos from the reflections of the other buildings. It is just a gorgeous early evening, I'd say. We are definitely in the zone of uh, beautiful weather now. We have been for a couple weeks now. We're heading down to the Esplanade area. I'm trying not to stomp too hard because it shakes the camera. I think, I think it's developed kind of a little bit of a rattle to it. So I don't know if that's going to be in the actual audio of this video. I walked down this little dirt path so we can go by the boat. Community Boating Inc. Boathouse. I've known people who have taken these uh, boating lessons down here. There's a phone number if you ever want to. There's the Longfellow Bridge over there. That's what we just walked over to get here. It's everybody's bikes locked up against the fence. I think everybody's sitting here to enjoy the sunset.
more beautiful views of the skyline. This little inlet, or I don't know what you call this, is really beautiful where they have to store all these uh, boats for the community boating center. Hardly a cloud in the sky. Lots of people out just enjoying this beautiful evening. We're coming up on the hat shell. Wow, there's like a ton of geese over on the lawn here. It's nice that this isn't, this is usually, I think, fenced off in the off season. This is the first time I've seen it open here. They do like, I think, free concerts on certain days uh, and, and for different events too. Look at all these geese, man. They're all hanging out here. The river's always beautiful by these bridges here too. There's a bunch of them.
I've ridden my bike through here a whole bunch of times. I think this is the first time I've walked. You can see the sun is really reflecting off the buildings in the distance there past the uh, Harvard Bridge or Mass Ave Bridge. <laughs> really windy on this side. You can see why some of those boats are really tipping. This is a very popular place just to sit down and chill out on this dock here. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end this walk here because I should probably uh, start getting back to my car. Um, as always, if you enjoyed this walk, make sure to slam that subscribe button. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. And uh, as always, check out my photography at wayneoxfordphotography.com. I have tons of tons and tons of beautiful Charles River uh, photos available as prints, uh, you know, frame prints, canvas prints, um, mugs, phone, you name it. it. You know, it's probably probably available, even a blanket or something. You know. Uh, so anyway, thanks for coming along, and I will see you next time. Bye.